Hey guys, if you bought a new iPhone or recently reset your device and you've got nearly everything set up, but now you're stuck on the cellular setup complete screen when trying to log into your eSIM, don't worry, you're not alone. There are a lot of people experiencing the same issue on Apple community and Reddit. But no worries, I'm here to help you fix this problem today. So let's get started. There are a couple of reasons why you might be stuck at this screen. The most common issue is a weak Wi-Fi connection. Sometimes, all you need is a stronger Wi-Fi network to complete the setup. So change your Wi-Fi if you can access the Wi-Fi setting. If that doesn't work, it could be a system glitch. But don't worry, we've got a few ways to fix it. The first thing you should try is a force restart. This can clear up most system hiccups. Quickly press and release the volume up and the volume down button, then hold down the side button until the Apple logo appears. After your iPhone restarts, check to see if your eSIM is logged in. If it still doesn't work, try logging into your eSIM again. If nearby iPhone transfer didn't work, you can choose to scan the eSIM code manually. One of these methods should do the trick. If the force restart didn't solve it, the next step is to reset your network settings. Here's how to reset network settings. Go to Settings, General, then Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap Reset. Then select Reset Network Settings. Don't worry, this won't delete any of your photos or personal data, but you will need to reconnect to your Wi-Fi afterward. Once that's done, connect to Wi-Fi again and try logging into your eSIM. This should work for most people. If your phone is an old device that was reset, this may be a system bug. You can either update or repair your phone without data loss. Since the iPhone 16 is out, the iOS 18 has a new update to fix the potential bugs. You can check and see if you can update your phone. Or, you can try a system repair with no data loss using a tool like Reiboot. Reiboot is award-winning iOS repair software. It can detect your phone's issue and help you fix it without data loss. Locate the system repair option and click the green start button. You'll see two options. Standard repair can fix most iOS device issues without causing any data loss. Deep repair may cause data loss, but can handle more difficult problems. Try standard repair first if you have any system issues. By following the process, your iPhone will return to normal with all your apps and data intact. It support the latest iOS version, so go try it. If you've tried both of these methods and you're still stuck, it might be time to contact your carrier, and they might need to check if your eSIM and the cellular plan is suitable for your new phone from their system. Okay, hopefully one of these solutions helps you get past the cellular setup complete screen. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more troubleshooting tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.